Science. 25 years after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, nature is showing signs of recovery. These are the findings by scientists at the University of Portsmouth, published in the Royal Society journal Biology Letters. Professor Jim Smith has studied nuclear fallout and its impact on the barn swallow. We've studied whether um, animals in the Chernobyl exclusion zone can cope with the radiation levels that we see now. There's a, there's a possible radiation damage to organisms uh, in the exclusion zone caused by free radicals, which can produce a thing called oxidative stress, which can have a range of biological effects. We've tested whether radiation can produce enough free radicals to affect the birds' antioxidant defence mechanisms, and we find that the, the defence mechanisms can easily cope with radiation at the levels that we see now at Chernobyl. Following the accident, radiation levels caused extensive damage to many organisms, but as the levels drop, wildlife is thriving around the damaged plant. Natural variation in insect populations uh, kind of overrides the possible radiation effect. This has been um, also seen by Ukrainian and Belarusian scientists who, who live and work in the exclusion zone and have studied the wildlife there since the accident. And they find that there's a, a, there was a dramatic increase in biodiversity of a range of organisms, birds, wild mammals, uh, in the exclusion zone after the accident. And that's attributed to the evacuation of the human population. So now in the exclusion zone, it's, it's quite well policed, so there's no hunting going on there, there's no fishing, there's uh, no human activity, nobody's building roads, chopping down trees, ploughing fields, uh, and this has benefited the wildlife. Although nature has reasserted itself, there has been a certain amount of mutation, and in Ukraine, there are fears that this mutation could lead to the emergence of new viruses or bacteria. The appearance of such big diversity is dangerous because these organisms, these species which have changed and mutated quickly, introduce different strains and clones, which can be dangerous for human beings. 25 years separate Fukushima and Chernobyl, and the lessons learned in Ukraine will be vital to help the Japanese recover from the 2011 disaster. I would say that if, if an area at Fukushima remains evacuated, then I would expect to see what we see at Chernobyl, which is that the wild populations will return and nature will, will take over the contaminated area. For the research team at Portsmouth, the message is clear. Nature has the capacity to recover from even the most extreme accidents. It seems from our experience so far, our experience from Chernobyl, um, that Mother Nature can cope uh, with, a, with a, almost the most severe nuclear accident that we can, we can imagine. It doesn't say, say that radiation is good, it says that um, what we do as people, the things that we do, chopping down trees and uh, ploughing fields, hunting, fishing, they seem to do more damage to wildlife populations than, than radiation does. <laughs>